Hey family, I'm back again. Got another painting that's going to be in that show where I won the National Endowment for the Arts at. Uh, it's going to be at El Central College. Uh, but I wanted to show you this one. This one is entitled The Final Embrace. The Final Embrace is about a, a father who many people would characterize as a thug or a gangster or something negative when in fact he's a loving father that loves his son. The son is crying because this is the final embrace before this father goes out and get killed. Part of my, my goal and objective is to give black males especially their humanity back. Because so many times we're called the N-word, thug, pimp, player, dog, G, and we glorify these words like there's something special, but yet Genesis chapter one, verse 26 to 28 basically says, God said, let us create man in our image, man. Not nigga, pimp, player, food, dog, G, and give man dominion over all the all the world, over all the earth. That's an inheritance. But if you're claiming to be something else other than what God created you as, and you wonder why you're considered a second class citizen, you might consider what you embrace or what you call yourself. It matters. This painting tries to show uh, the white shows the innocent blood. The red, or the white shows the innocence, the red shows the blood, and the colors really show the energy between, the bond between the father and the son, whether you black or white. The hair is what it is, it's his style, it's, it's his signature, but it doesn't make him less than. So I wanted to show the tender touch between a father and his son, and the fact that this father doesn't know, he's not gonna go get killed necessarily, by law enforcement either, or somebody white. It's gonna be a black on black crime, and that's part of the premise of this painting. Um, come check the show out, Central College.